Hello and welcome and hi to all of you new subscribers. I've had a little influx of new subscribers recently so yay! Hi and welcome. I hope I don't put you off now by doing this video I'm about to do next. So I kind of just realised this morning that I haven't done my August review of my beauty box products. So for those of you who are watching me for the first time, hi and welcome. Um, I what I normally do or what I try to remember to do I try to go through all of the products I received in the previous month I like to go through them talk about them apply them and just sort of basically give my actual opinion on what the products are so I'm going to do that now um, here's a picture of everything I received in August it's a lot isn't it yeah it does make me feel a little bit what's the word a little bit guilty but only for a little while I've, i feel guilty for about what a minute and then it's like yeah that kind of goes um i'm gonna sort of try and go ahead and enjoy most of these products and what i do like to do is just use the products for the following month if i haven't got anything else planned i use the products for the following month and then i'll talk about them when i do well I'm, i may talk about them again when i do my seasonal review of my favorite products for the season right okay Shall we go ahead and see what we got? So start off with sort of bath and shower products. So in bath and shower, I received only two products in August. So in the Eve's parcel, I received a popsicle bath, bath bomb. So I'll show that to you. So it was from Bubble Tea, it's this. Now, um, because of me and my knackerdoll joints, I actually don't take baths. I'm a shower person all the way. So this is either going to end up in a giveaway box or more than likely it's gonna end up in the family bathroom. I tend to put all of my bath bombs and things in the family bathroom because my daughter loves a bath. My niece loves, loves it when I put um, lovely smelling, bubbly, foaming, swirly, different colored bath bombs in there and my sister as well she's staying over she'll take a relaxing bath with candles and everything so I tend to put all of the bath bombs I receive in there so this as I said will either end up in a, in a giveaway box or it'll end up in the bath bomb but yeah it, it smelled really nice it smelled like nougat really really nice the strawberry nougat it's not like so I received that and I also received an um, in the birch box an anatomical uh, body scrub and I actually remember I put that in the giveaway box for the giveaway that I did recently um, I did a giveaway recently for August and the giveaway was come up with, come up with an inspirational phrase so one of the two ladies that won um, so it was either Sally or Denise I'm pretty certain it might have been Denise who received it they received the anatomicals um, body scrubs by the way thank you for all of you who entered that giveaway some of the phrases you came up with and the quotes were so 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 brilliant some of them sort of touched me right there in my heart and that's in, that in the end was how I chose my two winners the ones that really got me and I thought right I want to live by these two two phrases so I did post the names of the two winners in the in my Instagram so the two winners I'll do their social media names so the first winner was Trolley Dolly who happened Trolley Dolly 70 who happens to live very near to me in East Sussex so I actually met up with her and gave her her, her giveaway prize and the second winner lives in Scotland her name was Sally Shearer um, and again lovely both of them just lovely people because I've been conversing with both of them on you know via email or Instagram or WhatsApp and again lovely lovely people but really thank you all of you who put those quotes in you're going to start seeing some of these quotes up behind me because I'm trying to work on my study to make it more of a room for me to film in so you might start seeing some of these quotes appearing behind me when I get that room finally sorted out anyway so let's move on so that was the bath and body products on to body moisturizers I received how many, how many did I receive I, re I received four body moisturizers so the first one was this one received in the ASOS beauty box so ASOS they do um, beauty boxes every month they say it's not a regular thing but it has been a regular thing now for at least a year so this is that nice thick rich product it's um, from Dr Yacht and it's a ceramide they call it a ceramide body moisturizer I will use it now because my 
hands and arms are rather dry right now so you can see it's all a bit dry looking a bit ashy when you hear when you hear black people say that our skin's looking ashy it just basically means that our skin's very dry and it just needs moisturizing um it's it's almost like our our skin so people with melanin because i think our skin is made for warm sunshine and humidity we tend to our skin tends to get dry in sort of more northern climates that feels good oh this is very nice yeah look at that see the difference in my hands oh that feels that's that's good that's a nice one so i received that so that's gonna go into rotation soon not yet because i'm still using a few other products at the moment but yeah that's a very nice one i also received from look fantastic a rituals body lotion honestly these products are for anything from rituals it's gonna smell heavenly and i bet this does yeah it does oh <laughs> find bits of my body to, to moisturise right now. Let's do that. Oh, do my hands again on top. I'll just have very well moisturised hands. Yeah, it smells gorgeous. So we got that from, um, got that from Look Fantastic from Cosbox. So Cosbox is a, um, it's a beauty box created by a, a black woman. It is melanin friendly. So it is aimed to target people of color, sort of darker skin tones. Again, based on the fact that a lot of the big beauty boxes um, don't tend to cater, or they don't really tend to cater for people of color. So, so Cosbox is one of the boxes that's come out in, in this year that are, are they are more melanin friendly. Now I'll say melanin friendly because they don't exclude anybody else, if you know what I mean. So they came out with um, this one from Palmer's Coconut Oil. Again, a very gorgeous, good all round body lotion, which again, everybody can use. And you can find these in Superdrug and Boots. So that will go probably, I'm gonna put this one in the family bathroom as well, because that's one for everybody to use. So my husband down to my niece, so all good. And finally, got from which box did I get this from? I can't remember which box I got this from. It's from Veleda. Did I get this in the ease parcel? I can't remember which box I got this from. But um, yeah, it was a skin food. Yeah, it was a skin food light. I've tried the original of this, which is very rich, and apparently it's a Victoria Beckham favourite. So this is the lighter version of it. So this. I'll either keep or it may end up in a in a giveaway in a future giveaway as well. I'm actually thinking my next giveaway because I am on what's my subscriber number at the moment? I think my subscriber number at the moment is 2350. So I'm thinking my next giveaway will be when I hit 2500 and then after that I'm going to start going by 500. So it'll be 3000 with my next my next giveaway 3500 4000 i can't even imagine getting to those kind of numbers to be honest but you know you never know i never thought i would get to a thousand so who knows moving on i didn't get any face cleansers in august but i did get loads of face masks so let's look at the face masks i got asos gave me a glam glow super mud should i put this on now I'm going to put this one on now because I also got from Look Fantastic, I've got this one, a herb infused sheet mask. I've received loads of these in the past. Well, I say loads. I've had this quite a few times and it is. It's a nice mask, very moisturising, um, plant-based mask. Just, it's a nice mask to put on in the evening. So I've received that in the past and I know that's good. And from Eve's Parcel, I've got this sort of um, Korean one called Hello Skin. I might just try this one actually. Things, if I put that on now, I might be able to talk properly. See, these kind of mask sheet masks, I do like to put on at night time when I'm relaxing with a glass of wine. <coughs> uh, I may put this one on now. You don't mind if I put this on now, do you? Let's put this. So Glam Glow are very much a high-end um, brand. They do really good quality face masks. Usually sort of masks you can just put on and wash off. They don't tend to do peel off masks. I think they do I don't think they're doing a sheet mask but they tend to be doing this and they do other skincare brands as well i got a really nice uh, cleanser from them um in a boxy charm a couple of months ago which i am still using and it's lovely absolutely lovely so i don't actually mind that i didn't get a cleanser in august right so i'm just going to put this on it's a mud mask as you can see obviously got charcoal in it so i'm going to put this on 
Um, I have got very oily congested skin so I do tend to like using charcoal masks that are good for clarifying and detoxing. I'm being lazy because I normally do put a mask on with a brush but since I'm here just use my fingers into it. So I'll leave this on for about 10 minutes and wash it off. So we've got this in the ASOS beauty box and these alone they cost about £15 just by this little size alone because they are quite expensive so it's a little 15 grand one costs about £15 I think. They're not cheap anyway so there you go so that's that one. I think that was the mask. Um, oh and in birch box we've got we got a glam glow a first quench one so it looks like this same sort of size but it's blue and i think i've got that in my bathroom so i have already started using that one and again it's a nice one um it's good for moisturizing because what i tend to do i have got very oily skin and what they say is that if someone's got oily skin it's because your skin isn't hydrated enough which i just don't understand because everywhere else on my skin is dry it's just my face is really really oily and, and I drink loads during the day so never understand why so I do tend to do mask treatment several times during the week I do moisturizing ones at least two times a week and I'll do like a clay one like this usually again sort of twice a week as well so literally five days out of seven I'm using a mask of some sort on my face so you know I might as well because I get so many of them so it's all good and, and, I, and I do like it it's kind of relaxing and it's a bit of a treat so that's all good right next we got I got one lot of serum because I put everything in categories I got one serum um, and I've got this in my boxy charm so if you're wondering about the boxy charm boxy charm is an American beauty box it's absolute to me it's one of the best beauty boxes in the world it really is there are a few sort of contenders coming up now I still think boxy charm is the best beauty box out there and that it costs $21 it's not um, they don't ship outside the United States so what I do I use a company called Shippy2 and they're like a shipping company and I use that as my American address so I subscribe to BoxyCharm I get my box delivered to Shippy2 warehouse and then they contact me and then I arrange for it to come over to me over here so it costs $21 in the States which is about 16 17 pounds depending on the exchange rate the shipping cost is normally about $15.80 something or another so call it $16 in total the whole thing to buy the box and to get it shipped over to me it cost £25 but the value of the box usually is well over £100 so for me it's well worth it and it's actually um, a box I'm going to continue to do and towards the end of this year I'm actually going to stop doing some of the boxes I do currently in the UK so you know because box charm to me it's just it really is so this is one of the products I got in August boxy charm haven't actually started using it I, I used it on the day that I unboxed um, it and it is a serum and no I might put it on after I've taken this off we will see okay you can see how this is all drying on my face yeah so that's the only serum I got didn't get any mist or sprays um, shampoo and conditioners right I got um, in my Itoju box I Itoju box is another um, beauty box that again started this year probably started about four months ago now around April and it's another new beauty box that started this year that again is um, friendly more friendly toward it's targeted towards people of color um, particularly women of color so Itoju again started by a, I think it's a couple of people, a couple of black women who started it and their boxes again um, and the boxes are literally are targeted I and mean, with that box they do say it is for women of colour. So the box in August was a takeover box. Unfortunately for me it was a box, it was a takeover of products I have received previously from Treasure Tress. So it was a box of Sunny Isle Jamaican Black Castor Oil hair products. So it was a shampoo, conditioner, it was a deep conditioner and it was the spray detangler. Products I have received before in Treasure Tress and I've st still got them in use now. So I've got them in storage, they will, they will get used but I haven't really done a big thing about that box because again it's products that I've received before and I have to admit I was a little bit disappointed because I just felt that um, considering 
that there's so few boxes I mean there, there's been a, as I said there's been a few that's launched this year but because there's so few boxes that are, do sort of cater for for people of color I thought they would keep an eye on what the other boxes are doing so they don't repeat the products that are out there but um, I think when I contacted the the founder or one of the people who work at Itoju they they just basically said um, that's what Sunny Isle offered them to, for the box so they had to take it. I was like well yeah fair enough. I mean it's still a very good value box because the box cost £25 and the value of the products were about £40 to £50 and if you don't subscribe to Treasure Dress you'll be really really happy with the box but for me personally I was a little bit disappointed with it. Okay so that was the hair products. No not quite. Um, in the ASOS box I got another conditioning mask which I haven't tried yet. It's an overnight damage mask. I haven't tried that. It will be tried at some point. But yeah, looking forward to doing that because anything that says it's a damage repair mask means that it's going to be really deep in conditioning, which is ideal for sort of Afro type hair, so type 4 hair, because our hair is very dry. So anything which says deep conditioning, moisturizing, I love, absolutely love. So that will get to you. So quite pleased with that. Um, I also got some styling products so in let's find it here we are in birch box was it birch box yeah it was in my birch box which was really surprising me um, I pronounced it Aribe and I know I got corrected by somebody that it's not pronounced Aribe it's pronounced something else I can't remember what she said sorry I can't remember how you said I should pronounce it forgive me so I'm still going to call it Aribe Aribe Anyway, it's a leave-in conditioner, so I may put this in my hair afterwards. Yeah, the mask is drying down. I'll be taking this off in a minute. So I've got that, and I think that was it for my hair products for August. So yeah, I did all right for hair products. Um, body treatment wise I did get a coffee scrub and I got that in the ASOS beauty box as well it's this little coffee scrub here um, I know a lot of people love co coffee scrubs and I just don't I just don't know what it is about coffee scrubs I really don't like them so it's probably it's gonna go in my box where I keep all products for giveaways future giveaways unless on eye mask i did get in a glossy box a beauty pro eye therapy mask and i think i used that already and i haven't even got the wrapping here to show you but it's been used already i like anything which is which says eye treatment because i've realized in the last i would say in the last year i've noticed that my eyelids are getting dry uh, especially underneath my eyes and just in this area here so because of that and you know so far i'm 50 years old going on to 51 now i haven't got any wrinkles so i'm going to do my best to see if i can just keep the wrinkles away from my eyes because as soon as areas start getting dry that's when the wrinkles approach so anything eye treatment i'm all over it i, I love them so i have used it already and i think i quite liked it as well i think it was very moisturizing um got some beauty tools as well in august so i'll show you the beauty i've got an eyelash curler and i think i got this where did i get this I got this in the glossy box yeah it was in the birthday glossy box which I actually found was a little bit of an underwhelming box it wasn't as good as I would have liked it so it was a, it was an eyelash curling like that I did mean to put that in the recent giveaway box but there literally was just no room in the boxes because I did cram them quite a bit this stuff so it will go in a future giveaway I don't like eyelash curlers I think it's because my eyelashes are so short and stubby and when I use things like this they just pull out what little I have so I don't tend to use them so this will go as a gift or a giveaway to someone also got this in the look fantastic box this is just such a luxurious brush it's from luxie and luxie are i would say they're an okay brand when it comes to brushes but this little um this sort of batch of brushes uh, this series of brushes they're doing in luxie they're beautiful these are really decent quality brushes i mean i'm just stroking this it feels so good you know when a brush feels good and it's right way it feels nicely balanced it's got this lovely ergonomic design and it's just a beautiful highlighter brush so i will be using this later um what else did we get oh <laughs> <laughs> this made me laugh um i got this in the glossy box birthday box as well i haven't used it yet because i'm just finishing up the one i've got um yeah some raised blades shaver 
I know people sort of thinking, oh, that's just so naff to get in a beauty box. But I'm sorry, products like this are useful. It's all part of maintaining what we've got. And I'm, I don't do waxing or anything like that. I'm kind of basic when it comes to things like that. So give me a good old razor blade. And this is the brand I use anyway. So I was really chuffed to get this. So we got that in the glossy box. So yeah, I was kind of pleased with that. So that's all good. Moving on to the makeup stuff. I'm actually going to go and wash my face off and then I can start doing going through the makeup stuff so give me one moment back in a sec right okay does my face look uh, clean and fresh now bring you in it feels it feels smooth the pores looked just looks fresh and clean looks like I've just had a, a face mask of some sort so it's looking good right next because my lips are kind of dry now. In the cos box, I got a lip balm from Coco Lem. So let me put that on now. So they've got these in different fragrances, or yeah, I suppose it is fragrances. And it's actually a, quite a nice balm. I like it. It's not greasy, it's just does what I want it to do which is moisturize my lips. So I next, I now need a serum of some sort. So the serum I'm going to use is the one I got in BoxyCharm. And it was, what do they call this one again? It was from Peach and Lily Serum and they called it a glass skin refining serum. I don't understand all of that myself personally, but let's take this off it's like that. It's got a pump, so. I always do one and a half pumps because I've got a big face. So let's put that on. I've got the TV on in the background, so if you see me looking over there, it's because of that. And I just saw an advert for Boots. Um, they've got a number seven age defying foundation. I'll, I'll be interested to see what the shades are in that, because if, if the shades go wide enough and deep enough, I'll get hold of it and try it out. Why not? Right, so that's that. Yeah, my face doesn't feel moisturized, so I've got that on. Does it look smooth? all right anyway if i remember correctly this is like some bloody expensive stuff so it's i think it's got some skin benefiting properties as well um let's go on to primer so the primer we got i got in a boxy charm and it was from wonder beauty and it's an oil primer so i know i did worry about using this primer because they say oil and uh, i'm a person with oily skin but actually it was all right it kind of absorbed in really nicely on the skin so I'm going to use this as my moisturiser stroke primer today. Got that on. And it feels really cool as well. The, the spots where I've got it on, it does feel really cool. Okay. Right, my face feels better now. I'm just going to put um, an eye serum on because my eyes feel dry and I do need to put something on there. This is the product that really got me last month. So I got this in the Boxy Charm and it's a Hydra Mist setting powder. They had two shades available. They had a translucent one and they had the, I think they called it a golden bronze color. So it's a setting powder. What was so great about it or great or fascinating about it was it was just how it felt when it went on. So it's got all this special extra protection you know, telling you to keep it closed when it's not in use and basically I mean forget about the special effects it's actually a really nice setting powder anyway this is what it looks like and then what you do you put it on as normal but when it goes on it feels absolutely like it's wet it feels like you're using a damp sponge or a damp brush on your face the only thing the only issue i had with this is that the color it wasn't golden bronze enough it's still very much ashy if you can see on my face it still looks a little bit ashy it makes me look a little bit pale just a little bit like i'm sick <laughs> but apart from that it's actually a really nice setting powder so i do need to go in with um some bronzers afterwards just to give me a little bit of colour back in my face. 
So apart from the colour, I actually like the setting powder. So I'm going to go in now and just put um, just a little bit more contour on and some bronzing on just to get a little bit more colour back in my face. And I'll be back with you in a sec. Right, okay, so got a bit of blush on. Got the contour on. So you can see my face has just got a little bit more depth and shape to my face now. I'm now going to put on the highlighter which we got um, again it was in the Look Fantastic box. The Look Fantastic box in August was actually pretty good so we got this this highlighter palette from Bella Pierre and we got this brush so I'm going to use both of those now and use the contour the highlighter and you know I was actually quite impressed with these highlighters I mean I have used a few of them now and they're all right they're pretty good so I can't remember which one I like. There was one that was kind of a rosy gold colour. I can't remember which one it was. But I'm going to, just for today, I'm just going to go for this middle one today. Because I think this one was the rosy gold one, which was really fun. But I'm just going to put this one on today. Such a nice brush. You seen that? Put a little bit down my nose. There we go, job done. Yeah, nice highlighter palette. Very, very nice indeed. Bella Pierre are one of those brands. They seem to market themselves as quite high end, especially in their prices. And some of their products are a little bit naff, but some are really good. Like their liquid matte lipsticks. Um, the shades aren't, we don't get them very often, but ones I've, I've received three of them now I've had a red one I've had a bright pink one which I was wearing the other day um, and I think a few of you got said oh, that's a really nice lipstick I think it was in my Eve's parcel video I was wearing a Bella Pierre lipstick a pink one um, and I received a sort of brownie gingery one from another youtuber pink poodle too she received one she didn't like the shade didn't suit her so she sent it to me and it's, it's a really nice color so I've got three of those lipsticks and they are they're really really nice so and then I've got those from glossy box as well so glossy box can do stuff right you know not often but they can <laughs> right moving on um oh fun bit now eyes i've got two lots of eyeshadows um in august and they were all fun got one set from boxycharm which were these two so these are from ace butte and i did apply these in the uh boxycharm video so i'm not going to put those on today so i've got those two and then i've got this stunning one from my Cosbox by Mix and Blend. I mean this product alone costs £30 and the Cosbox itself costs £25. So you know one product in the box literally costs more than the whole box together. And that's what I want from beauty boxes. These were the shades inside the, the palette. Look at those colours. Eh? Right. So I remember last time I said I wanted to put on blue and I ended up putting on yellow. Today I'm going to put on the blue. So I'm just going to put these, these some colours on now. I'm not going to do anything flash because I've got things to do, a day to go, you know, that sort of thing. So I'm going to put some on now and I'm going to speed through this bit. So back in a bit. enough but I love this blue it just is amazing I mean admittedly all you can see is the blue but I love it I think it's great so that's the eyeshadow did get an eyeliner um, it was one in the glossy box birthday box and I have to admit I think it was pretty rubbish um, so I'm gonna try it again now and if it proves to be sort of crappy now I'm just gonna throw it away because I don't really like having things around that I just I'm not gonna use so yeah I'm gonna try this one now see if I can have a bit more better success with it I 
shit this seems a lot now. Okay. white now you know so I, I will keep it I'm not throwing it away so yeah this is the one we got inside the glossy box I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara on this is the one I was using I we got this in either last month or the month before we have got this in the July or maybe in the June I think it was a glossy box it was a Manica Dahl mascara I really didn't like it so I've started using yesterday um, a Bobbi Brown mascara and this is lovely so I'm gonna put this on now I really don't know if I'm, if I'm brave enough to go through the whole lashes thing again but let me just do this mascara now I like this mascara so it's called Bobbi Brown eye opening mascara yeah so I'm just using this mascara instead because I'm not really that confident about using the lashes again lashes I got in the cos box for August oh god it took me forever to put them on I really don't want to go through that now I think it kind of traumatized me and I don't want to put it on again I mean they're lovely they looked really cute and really pretty but I don't want to put them on again now please don't make me put them on again now <laughs> I can't, I just can't do it. Right, onto the lip area now. So I got one lip liner and that was in the Boxy Charm and it was from Steve Laurent. And it was this one in the shade Vogue. Everybody got the same color. I didn't really like this to be honest. It was, um, it was quite hard. I didn't like it at all, but I'm gonna put it on again now because you know I have got it and I have used it. So I'm gonna put it on now. Lipsticks, ooh, got quite a few lipsticks actually. So um, from Look Fantastic, I've got this really nice, um, it was a lip tint and I really like the color of it. I'll show that to you. Look Fantastic, we've got this lip tint from Duce and I actually really, really liked it. When I put it on, um, on the day I got it, so it was in August and I was in London at the time and I was outside. So I did put it on and I'm not sure if you actually really saw the effect of the colour, but it was a really nice sort of corally colour, which seems to be the colour for me this year. So that's the first one we got. Second one I got from, got this one from East Parcel. Um, and this one was from Phase Zero, it was a liquid matte and it was in shade Bad Habit. And I'm not joking, it is a bad habit if you put this on. L let me tell you something, you put this on, once it dries down, number one, your lips are gonna dry and crack off, trust me. This color was, let's just say i was really surprised they put this color in because this is not a color that hardly anybody can wear comfortably um you know when i talk about you know people always accusing me of going on about things oh you're always going on about race and color but you know <laughs> but when you put something like this in a box which nobody can use <laughs> nobody in their right mind can use it was um, a really bright purple when it went on wet it was like okay it's a bright color but you know if you're feeling a little bit feisty you're going to a festival you're going somewhere celebratory you know you could put it on but once this dried down good lord my lips just crumpled up and shrunk like something out of spongebob you know i just imagine squidward's lips just crumbling and drying up completely it was horrible and the color was just it was like a blue toned purple blue tone colors don't really suit me i think blue tone colors tend to suit people no, white skin fair skin i think those are more for them i'm more red tone orange undertones when it comes to lipsticks that's my kind of color so it wasn't a color to suit me anyway but even if you were fair white skinned this is not a color you're going to want to wear it's it's just out there it really is i made it just about work because i put a lip gloss on it so it's not a color i really want to put on again so let's just put this one away and and never speak of it again so that was one in Eve's parcel that's the one from look fantastic which is a really nice one but the lipstick which I really really enjoyed and I have worn several times um, since receiving it was this one we got in the glossy box birthday box it's from Huda Beauty it was from Huda there were three shades of av available I think it was Angelique um, this one which I got which is called Bougie and there was another colour, I think they said Shameless might have been, I think it was Shameless was a colour that was available. I had this one and obviously once I do my unboxings I then go and watch everybody else's unboxings and I noticed that nearly everybody got Angelique which is again it was a really lovely colour. No one else seemed 
well, no one else on YouTube seems to have got this colour, um, Bougie. And I loved it. I think it's a really gorgeous colour. So it's the colour I'm going to put on now because it feels really nice and I liked it. So I'm just going to pander to my little self-indulgence here. I just really, really like it. Um, I don't personally like Huda Beauty as a brand. as don't, don't really like the brand owner. I think that's what it is. Um, so it's not a product. So her brand of products is not something I would actually go out and purchase. But receiving the products in beauty boxes, I don't mind. I'm right with receiving it. I just won't go out and physically pick it and select it off shelves. You know, I'm a little bit hypocritical like that. But yeah, hey, I'm honest. So let me put this one on. <laughs> I just love it because it's moisturizing it's creamy um, it's just got a good pigment color you know you saw I put one color on there smudged it on I'm gonna put another layer on my top lip I, I do want to put it on with a dark lip liner but I'm just using the Beauty Box products today, so so normally I would put my normal dark brown lip liner on around it. So either one from uh, Revolution Beauty, the shade um, Glory, which is about three pounds, or I'd use the Mac Chestnut lip liner, which is about eighteen pounds. So you know, but yeah, yeah. So that's me using all my beauty products. Is that right? If I used everything? I didn't talk about the foot products we got. So there was a couple of foot products, foot and hand products. So for feet, we got this foot soak, um, which we got this in the ASOS beauty box as well. So I'm going to give this to my mother because basically anytime I receive anything like for feet, um, I tend to keep it away. I keep it aside, put it aside and give it to my mother because my mother's got diabetes. And I don't know if you know anybody who's got type 2 diabetes. They've got to be very careful with their extremities because of the whole blood circulation. They've got to take particular care. Um, a lot of people with diabetes, if they don't look after themselves, they end up getting things like gangrene. Some people even get their feet amputated. So my mother takes really good care of her feet I mean, she's got lovely feet and she, you know, she wants to maintain that so I'm going to give this to her so she'll enjoy that because I've got a bubble bath foot bath thing so she'll enjoy using that and also got this this was a hand mask which I haven't used this yet um, so we got this in also in the ASOS beauty box and it was a hand mask so it was a pretty much uh, really everything for all over my body in August. The only things I see in August was a bronzer, didn't get any face cleansers, didn't get any spray or mist but I had loads in the previous month. Um, what else didn't I get? And I didn't get anything for the brows but overall I got something for every other part of my body so all good. You don't mind now, you don't mind if I don't do anything with my hair. Can I get away with doing my thumbnail picture with my, my hair bonnet on? Give a girl a chance. I don't want to do my hair. I'm too lazy. <laughs> I'm still off work. So this is the final look using all my products from August Beauty Boxes. I overall am very happy with the products I got in August. If I was to say what my favourite products were, well I didn't say actually. I also got this as a lip product as well. So I got this in I can't remember which box it was, let me tell you which box it was. It's in the East Parcel. It's from Skin Chemist and it's the Rose Quartz uh, plumping lip thing. So it kind of tingles and it's supposed to plump up your lips once the blood goes rush into it. Um, I tend not to use these. I've got two or three of these already. But I know one of my subscribers absolutely loves this. So Kirsten Greer, this could be on its way to you. If you can just Instagram me your details, I'll put this in the post to you because I know you said you really like these, don't you? Right guys, so this is the final look. What do we think? I've used all of my products from August. I think I've got a nice array of products. If I was to say what my favorite products were, let me have a look and see what my favorite products were. Right, oh blimey, right. There's a few products. I'll, I'll tell you the products I really like for August. So my favorite five, six products for August were, so we've got this mud mask, really like this mud mask, and we got this really love this lipstick glossy box love this fantastic gave us this highlighter really like the quality of this love this from look fantastic this brush oh gorgeous i'm almost orgasmic over this brush it's gorgeous um weird and wonderful because i think it's a novelty i like this um, setting powder from becca just wish the color was better but i really do like it love this eyeshadow palette which we got in the cos box and 
I, mean, I like how it feels. It just feels so moisturised when I put this on. I mean, you got this in the ASOS Beauty Box. So I'd say those are my favourite products for my August Beauty Boxes. Um, it's a bit of an addiction for me, I admit it. I do love my beauty boxes, you know, I pay for all of these things. And I know I can be quite opinionated about some of the contents of the boxes, but I think I'm entitled to it. It's my money, I'm buying it and I'm just sharing my my hobby, my my enthusiasm for the product. So if I do give opinions that people don't like, I'm sorry, but tough, my channel, I say what I like, okay? But yeah, those are my products from the August Beauty Boxes. What do you think about these products? Are any of the products that I've mentioned that you like them as well or anything that you really disliked and you don't agree with me at all on them? But yeah, for me, I had a happy August. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like down below. I've got referral codes for many of the boxes that I've mentioned today. So I've got those down in the description box and most of the referral links will give you a discount off your first box if you want to subscribe to it. I've also got I've also got a referral link for Shippy2 so if you want to if you want to sign up to Shippy2 so you can do your purchases from America you can do that there are other companies that do shipping from America there's another one called myus.com so I've got links for all the beauty boxes um, any discounts I've got I'll link them down before I also use a company called Quidco when I do my shopping online for products. Quidco is like a portal. It will link you to the um, shopping sites, so the ASOS, to Look Fantastic, to Cult Beauty, all those kind of sites, Bobby Brown, whatever. They'll link you to those sites and they'll give you cash back. You tend to get your cash back, say, three months later, and I tend to keep all my cash back to buy products later on. So all of those discount links and affiliate links I've got, I'll link down below, okay? Um, anything you want to talk about with the products I use yeah just get chatting down below and I hope you enjoyed this video so don't forget give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed get on and subscribe what are you waiting for you've watched this damn long video I mean this video has got to be at least half an hour long so you've watched all of this so well done to you for doing that um I'll try not to put too many advert breaks in it <laughs> but I've got to try and earn some money somehow and uh yeah I will see you soon guys take care bye